All right, we're live. Yes, Keith Smith. Hey, hey, thanks. Uh, the, the two games that got rained out last week that should have been game one, um, did that affect you all coming into tonight's game? Um, a little bit. Uh, I think our, our team was set up for a seven-game series. Our, our pitch stats pretty deep. And uh, with the limiting of the amount of innings that we're playing, I think it really, uh, our team kind of took a hit, but it's fine. We'll play five game series and hopefully uh, come out one game two tomorrow. Okay, and Wallace came out throwing the ball what looked to be pretty hard, uh, got into a little bit of trouble in the fifth and sixth inning, and you brought in Bingham. Uh, what, what's your bullpen looking like tomorrow night to back up Souther, the lefty? Uh, we've still got Tompkins, we got um, Creasy. And we also have Soto, so hopefully those guys can eat up some innings and put up some zeros. Great. And, uh, you know, there's going to be no practices this week during the series. What kind of adjustments can be made to eliminate the errors? Uh, hopefully just more focus and uh, making the routine plays. I know we made some, uh, made some pretty decent plays, but we didn't make the routine plays. And uh, in the end, that's what hurt us and cost us the game. All right. Thanks. We've got the uh, winning team, the Oleanders, uh, Drew Suttles, Coach J.D. Flowers, and Roberto Ferguson. Any questions? Yes, J.D., uh, as a coach for the Oleanders, uh, how did you prepare your team over the weekend, uh, you know, not having, uh, being able to play game one due to rain last week? Just told them they got to be ready for everything, you know. They got to, they, rain and weather is something that you can't really play with pay attention to and you just got to be ready to go whenever time is called. And I thought we did a really good job of that. Uh, had to battle through some adversity with some with some weather there and I thought we did a good job of, of not wavering and staying focused for the for the game. Okay and what what kind of um, I guess what was going on in your head? Was it a tough decision to leave Ferguson in the game there at the end was, after coming to 90 pitches? Yeah it was a real, it was a real tough decision and uh, I chalked that one up to managerial error. I'm a rookie coach, so we're going to make some mistakes. And uh, probably should have gone Suttles there to start off the inning, but it worked out. And just uh, chalked that one up to go. Coach, glad he didn't, glad I didn't lose us for it, lose it for us. Over here on the uh, left. Uh, yes, uh, Ferguson. Uh, I noticed you come out and started from the stretch instead of the wind up the whole from the very start of the game. What? Uh, went into that, when did you decide that coming um, in? Seriously, it was like a last second decision. Um, when I was uh, uh, doing bullpen warming up before the game, uh, I wasn't feeling too comfortable from my wind up. And uh, I figured I had something to do with, uh, uh, I guess throughout every day of practice, I focus more on my stretch, try to be more, uh, have a better pop time to home plate. So um, even though you gotta use the stretch on the best situations when you got man on base, that's the way I felt comfortable right before the game, and I guess you got to do the uh, proper adjustments to come up with the best results at the end, though. So that's what happened. Is that uh, something that we could, that we're going to see more often, or is that just something that you felt you went with tonight because you felt better with it? It's something that has to change. I need to um, um, stay more focused on my practice or when I do my wind up, and uh, I mean I need to have both forms as a starter. Um, even though the, uh, the stretch is, is working really good, uh, it's something that's going to change, and i got to work on that for the rest of the fall and what's coming in the winter. Okay. Drew, let me ask you a couple questions. Uh, saw you in the bullpen down there, uh, not necessarily being told to get hot until it was go time. Did that affect you at all? Could you have done better coming in there in the seventh? I could have done a lot better. It didn't affect me because the same situation happened last year at the Lions series. Uh, didn't know I was coming in, had to just sit in the bullpen, put my hat over my eyes and be like, hey, if I go in, I gotta get the job done. Same thing with the night. Game one's the biggest biggest game of the whole series, and I'll say if I get the ball, I'm gonna get the job done. So Will you be ready to go tomorrow night? If be ready to go tomorrow night. Okay, well great game you guys. Thank you. Appreciate the interview. Appreciate it. Thank you.